La 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 Adam's little vlog. Tally ho everybody, this is Ahe with Games, Adam speaking. Welcome to the review for the grand final of Robot Wars 2017, or Series 9, whatever you want to call it. First things first, congratulations to Carbite for winning the, uh, the new series of Robot Wars Series 9. Probably uh, the most well-deserved victory of the lot. As for the grand final itself, uh, first half, dreadfully disappointing. Second half was a good recovery. The first battles, up to about the halfway point, were <laughs> pretty dreadful. Mostly one-hit KOs, which are, are, this is probably the season with the most of those. Um, and loads of robots just die with one hit at the moment. Um, and the arena comes to pieces at the slightest touch, it seems. But something was said in there, which is, probably rings true, that the robots are so powerful these days that the, the, te the arena technologists just, just can't keep up. Which is a problem they probably, probably need to address among a few. So yeah, first half, pretty dreadful. Um, but then as you came to the second half, I believe it was something like the last four battles. Uh, we're all pretty good battles. Highlights for me, probably, I believe it was Eruption versus Aftershock. Good battle. And Aftershock versus Ironside. Mostly because that was clearly the biggest upset of the grand final. Possibly one of the biggest upsets of the series. We haven't had many upsets this series. It's all been very predictable. And I knew from the start that it would either be Carbide or Aftershock going into this grand final. It was going to be one of them. Whichever one won the head-to-head -head in the in the round-robin format. Which was true. Uh, Carbide won that. And after that point, Aftershock was too destroyed to really do anything. Hence, getting beaten by Ironside and Eruption. Carbide goes on to win it without any real issue. I mean, it was a no contest. JP, um, Jonathan Pierce, in the final against Eruption, it was almost like he was trying to make it seem like it was still a competition, but no. It was... You knew Carbide was going to win. And this brings me on to the point that I brought up in the very first episode or review episode for this series. So it sort of brings it full circle. These robots, are, some of them are too perfect. I mean, Carbide versus Aftershock, it was perfection versus perfection, essentially. Um, one wiped out the other, so I suppose in a way it means they're not entirely perfect, but you know what I mean. And the one that won that was going to win, no matter what. Um, yeah, I think we've come to the point now where there needs to be an overhaul because it's come too close to perfection. That is, it's boring a lot of the time. For that first half of today's episode, I was just like, oh my God, this is terrible. Thankfully, the second half um, brought it back somewhat. But there needs to be that overhaul, that subtle or maybe even not so subtle change, which, which means, all right, spinners, you're very much less likely to just dominate it all now. Flippers and spinners, because that's all that was there. Um, yeah, first two rounds, the, the three versus three battles... Concussion and Apollo were basically just ganged up on and it was almost one hit KOs. Almost. Um, so that was just a throwaway. Uh, wild card pick was probably correct. Apollo was the best um, heat finalist that didn't progress. So fair play. Correct wild card choice. Um, so yeah, it's it's sort of summed up the series really. I mean, there were good bits, but it was just overshadowed by issues. Just issues that need to, or, or hopefully in the future, will be sorted out. Um, for one thing, the arena, <laughs> it's just broken continuously. Um, but, I mean, what can they do? These robots are too powerful. Maybe they should um, they should do what I did with my Bantor series and just ban certain types of weaponry. It's like, no, too predictable, too boring. Do something new and interesting. But yeah, congratulations to uh, Carbide. Probably the most plucky performer of the episode was Ironside. Uh, probably my favourite in the entire grand final. Good performance by that one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been 
probably the worst series of Robot Wars since its inception. Which is sad to say. I just think it needs an overhaul. It just needs change. It needs something new to keep things interesting. To flip it on its head a bit so it's not just getting dominated by flippers and spinners. Maybe um, change the arena somehow to... to, to um, better suit more inventive and original weaponry. I don't know. Maybe bring back things that you had in Series 1 and 2 of Robot Wars and put some challenges so that the robots that progress, they can't have zero ground clearance if you've got, like, ramps to go up and down and all that sort of stuff. Maybe now it's the time to bring back those challenges so that robots can't just be one style. A style that means it's going to be perfect for head-to-heads or, or melees. They need an all-rounder robot. They need to change things up a bit to ensure that they can get through challenge rounds and things like that. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'm insane. Probably the latter. Shane, maybe it's time to bring back Series 1 and 2 format. Keep things interesting. As a score for this episode, I'm going to give it, well, for the first half of it, probably 2 or 3. Second half, I'd give it six or seven. So we'll even it out and we'll give it a nice steady five. You know, nothing to shout about. Um, but one of the better episodes of this series, which says a lot, really. So thank you very much for watching. I'm hoping that the world listens to me and takes me as the arbiter of what works and changes for a Series 1-2 style format where we utilise first and second round to... to encourage invention and innovation not just zero ground clearance get your spinner out or get your flipper out something to really test the innovation of these roboteers so thank you very much for watching it's been aheba games adam speaking tra toodle pip toodaloo and cheerio see you later